Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain the constructive and destructive forces that shape Earth. So let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain how constructive and destructive forces help shape Earth. Our Earth is ever-changing. Some of these changes like the creation of the Grand Canyon takes millions of years to happen and some of them are catastrophic changes that occur in seconds like volcanoes and earthquakes. These changes to our Earth can be categorized as either constructive forces or destructive forces. Constructive forces are those that work to build or create new formations. Destructive forces, as the name implies, destroy or tear down existing formations. Some forces qualify as both constructive and destructive, and that they harm the existing landscape while simultaneously creating a new one. Common constructive and destructive forces include volcanoes, erosion, weathering, and deposition, and many others. Let's first start off by talking about constructive forces. It's important to know that there are slow constructive forces and quick constructive forces. Constructive earth processes are changes that add to the surface of the earth and some of them take millions of years to occur. Some examples of landforms that have been created by slow constructive forces include deltas, sand dunes, and mountains. The Hawaiian Islands are a great example of a slow constructive change. These islands have formed over millions of years due to a hot spot volcano. This type of volcano forms over an area in the Earth's crust where the crust is very thin and lava consistently makes its way to the surface. Each year, the island that is currently over the hot spot, or Hawaii, adds new land. There is even another island being formed that should reach above the surface of the ocean in 10,000 to 100,000 more years. Another example of a slow constructive force is the deposition of sediment at the mouth of a river. Water carries sediment downriver and as the river becomes more shallow, the sediment is deposited, forming landforms such as deltas. Mountains are also an example of a slow constructive force due to two tectonic plates being pushed into each other. One more example of slow constructive forces are sand dunes, which are built via deposition by the constructive force of wind, which shifts rock particles on top of each other until a sand hill is formed. All of these processes take significant amounts of time to form. With quick constructive force, changes to the earth take place in a matter of seconds instead of millions of years. The main quick constructive force is a volcano. A volcano that erupts violently can send lava and ash shooting out within seconds. When that lava cools, it hardens into new rock. This forms new land masses that become places where organisms can live. Now let's move on to destructive forces. Just as there are quick and slow constructive forces, there are also quick and slow destructive forces. Destructive forces break down land. The two main forces that break down land slowly are weathering and erosion. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks due to forces such as wind and water. The pieces of rock are then moved elsewhere through the process of erosion. Erosion is the wearing away of land by forces such as water, wind, and ice. Erosion helps to form many interesting features of the Earth's surface including mountain peaks, valleys, and coastlines. There are many different forces that cause erosion. It all depends on the type of force. Erosion can happen quickly or it can take thousands of years. The three main forces that cause erosion are water, wind, and ice. There is evidence of erosion all around us every day of our lives, even at your school. Erosion helps form many interesting features of the Earth's surface, including mountain peaks, valleys, and coastlines. Weathering and erosion takes millions of years to have an effect on the Earth, but those effects can be dramatic. The Grand Canyon and Monument Valley in Arizona are excellent examples of weathering and erosion that has occurred over millions and millions of years. Quick destructive forces are forces such as earthquakes and tsunamis that can change the surface of our Earth in seconds. Tsunamis can flatten Earth and erase hills. A tsunami will take thousands of feet of Earth and drag it back to the ocean floor. Earthquakes can cause the Earth to crack, causing sinkholes or other phenomena. Quick destructive forces can also be things like landslides. Whole mountain sides can move to the base of a mountain in a matter of seconds and deposit soil and other materials into new areas which leads to deposition. Deposition is the laying down of sediment carried by wind, flowing water, the sea, or ice. Sediment can be transported as pebbles, sand, and mud, or as salts to soften water. In summary, 
Many of the surface features of Earth have been created by constructive and destructive processes. Some of these processes were quick, but most of these processes took many years to form the surface features of Earth that you now see today. Examples like sand dunes, deltas, mountains, and islands were all formed by constructive or destructive processes like deposition, weathering, and erosion. Remember, constructive processes create landforms. Examples of constructive processes include deposition, landslides, volcanic eruptions, and floods. Destructive processes destroy landforms. Examples of destructive processes include weathering, erosion, landslides, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and floods. As you can tell, some of these processes are actually included in the constructive and or the destructive processes when it comes to shaping Earth. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how constructive and destructive forces help shape the Earth by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are high for proficiency, record your associate proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. Incinerate them.